I'm Johnny. I'm a global artist ambassador for Phoenix 360, and I'm blessed to be joined today by the model from Bulgaria, Diana Nikolova. Hello, Diana. How are you? Hi. Thanks. Uh, I'm good. I'm a uh, long COVID recovery at the moment, but still fine. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you're recovering and sorry about that inconvenience. And certainly you look great. So I'm glad you're recovering well. Anyway, I'm glad to share also, Diana, some of the modeling images that you have uh, available. So if it's okay with you, we'll share that with, with our audience now. Is that okay? Yeah, that will be great. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Then let's look at some of the beautiful imagery from Diana Nikolova. Diana, really beautiful, stunning, actually. And so listen, thank you so much for sharing with us. And I would love to hear, where are you from? And tell me the story of you becoming a model. I'm from Bulgaria. It's um, uh, in the capital of uh, Bulgaria, Sofia. Uh -huh. And I started modeling when I was 18 years old. But before that, I was uh, really bullied in my school and from my classmates and they told me names and everything like that. And um, I don't know, maybe I didn't just want to become a model. It's, uh, it's something that just happened. It's uh, nothing that I uh, like uh, wish for or something, um, but yeah, it was very, very nice. Uh, when I um, graduate, I wanted to take my photos for a graduation. And the photographer was a friend of mine. And he said, oh, why don't you become a model? <laughs> and I said, oh, why? Do you think I'm pretty? I'm beautiful enough? And he said, yes, yes, you can be a model. And from there, I started um, to uh, shoot with him. And after that, I got uh, in a modeling agency here in Bulgaria and so on. Oh, that's beautiful. You know, first of all, you know, I'm saddened that you were bullied, but I think what came out of it was this sense of empowerment. Um, and so I'm, I'm so glad that also, you know, you found a burgeoning career in modeling because someone inspired you and said, look, you know, you really have this look and you have this ability. You should, you should consider pursuing it. And you did. And that takes courage. So I think that's terrific. Now, let me ask this question. Were there other models, maybe even in Bulgaria or elsewhere around the world that you saw in fashion magazines or anything that you were like, wow, you know, I can do that. You know, they, you're, I'm inspired by them, you know, or any of those kinds of models, did they inspire you? Yeah, um, a long time ago, we are um, some kind of Soviet country, you know, uh, and we didn't have uh, magazines like other countries out there. So we, um, we saw some uh, magazine here and there, and I saw Cindy Crawford and really really amazed by her and yeah. she's my idol really really you know i kind of understand it and you know and and you two look a lot you know your similar you know uh features in, in a way and she is a wonderful you know inspiration i'm sure um yes. that you would model yourself after to some extent and also just a professional lady and just like you know such a good marketer and and, and all the things that are that make her so dynamic as far as her personality um, so that's cool. Now, listen, how about what are you working on now, uh, Diana, um, either in the modeling or the graphic designing or perhaps in, in other philanthropy? What are you up to? I'm a mentor in a platform uh, which is for women who are in a toxic relationships. And uh, this is something from my experience and I really want to help other women. 
So the platform is for the early signs of domestic violence and it's uh, really awesome and helping and people may find it in uh, um, Instagram, like uh, Improve Project. Uh -huh. uh, under the name Improve Project is uh, is an in Facebook as well as the page is called Improve as well. So yeah. Improve, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's uh, a beautiful platform, and that is a, uh, obviously you know an epidemic situation that has been going on, uh, you know. For as Since long pandemic as is, is a way more than before, so yeah. Probably even with COVID too, it's like, you know what I mean? There's been even an escalation to some extent because of the hunkering down that's been required. But um, I'm so glad that you're involved in being a force and a voice in support of women who are in these kinds of relationships and possibly not just women, but you know, people who are involved in toxic yes, yes. and it is so heartbreaking um that that people are afflicted by one another and don't realize their true related and connected um kind of soul network uh and 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 this is is something that is prevalent so i'm glad we're bringing attention to it through your platform improve and i'm, I'm i know that it's going to give a lot of people empowerment so i think that's really cool diana i'm glad you're you know, one of the leaders in that and a mentor in that. And I'm, I'm sure- a survivor, survivor there. It's not my platform, but I work there. You're a survivor as well and then in that situation. So did you want to share anything about that? Yes, I want to share about that. Um, I was in a beautiful relationship for 14 years. Ah. So yeah, it's a very long time and I, didn't quite understand that I, I'm in that situation. And um, after uh, years, um, my dream to be a model just uh, passed by. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I didn't, un I don't know. Um, I wasn't sure I can be a model again. And after I uh, go out, uh, as when I quit my relationship, actually, uh, I wanted to shoot a photo session just for me to feel better, to feel pretty again, to feel worthy, as you wish. Um, and the photographer was one of the very good fashion photographers here in Bulgaria. And he said to me, oh, this is good. Uh, I like the posing, I like the, the everything. And I said to him, oh, I was modeling before. <laughs> so this is uh, my first time after 14 years of pause, like a model. And after this session, actually, I started to model again. So this was my comeback. Right, uh, your comeback. Yeah. Yeah. Very happy, actually, and I'm happy to for every photo shoot now. It's it's really like a holiday for me. That is great. I'm so glad that you're in the joy and you're of the power of your expression, your modeling, and I'm glad that you are liberated also from an otherwise toxic relationship, and um, and so I'm just I feel. I feel very happy for you and also glad that you're using your experience and uh, your wisdom um, of being able to overcome um, to help and inspire others. Listen, it's just so nice to have, you know, your personality from Bulgaria and, and just, you know, to see your imagery and your work and, 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 and to talk about the platform improve. And, and I'm just so glad that you visited with me. Thank you for being with me. So I want everyone to tune into the social media channels then. For Diana Nikolova, you can find them below our interview today. And also, we're going to look forward to you coming up on Phoenix 360. So thanks, Diana. I really appreciate you. Thank you very much. All right. You take good care. Chin up. Is it give, give it chin up. Yes, that's the one. Try it. Yeah, with the hair. That's the one. Yeah, keep it, keep it, keep it. That's the one. Well done. Nice. Excellent. Well done. All right, uh, this way please. I saw the there. Nice.